faction, the British Army, World War II. Before the war had started, Britain had a small professional army, sacrificing manpower for superior mobility and technology over the enemy. There was also a territorial army, which was poorly trained and supplied. Such doctrine came about from the memory of the First World War and the massive loss of life of British soldiers. The Royal Navy was the largest in the world, and as the first line of defence, was held up as more important than the army, therefore receiving more of the defence budget. The British Army's main function in the interwar years was to garrison the British Empire. Conscription was introduced in early 1939 to rapidly increase the number of soldiers in the army as the threat of Nazi Germany became more apparent, requiring men aged 20 and 21 to take six months military training. A National Service Act upon declaration of war in Germany in September 1939 was passed, requiring men between 20 to 23 for military service, increasing to the ages of 18 to 41 as the war progressed. On the outbreak of World War II, British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain sent the British Expeditionary Force, formed in 1938 and under the command of General John Gort, to France, recently re-equipped under the threat of the German forces. The rapid German advancement during the Battle of France in May 1940 forced the British Expeditionary Force on the retreat to Dunkirk for evacuation, known as Operation Dynamo. Beginning on the 26th of May, over 330,000 British and French troops were successfully evacuated from the port, but much of the army's weapons, vehicles and equipment had to be abandoned. After Dunkirk, the British Army along with its Commonwealth allies would go on to fight in the Mediterranean and Middle East theatres and in the Burma campaign. The British Army eventually started to become victorious over the Axis powers mid-war, starting with the Tunisian campaign and then the invasions of Sicily and the Italian mainland in 1943. In 1944, under General Bernard Montgomery, the British Army took part in D-Day, alongside the US and Canadian armies as well as other allies. The army pushed into the Rhine in February 1945 until the German surrender in northwest Germany on the 4th of May. And in East Asia, the British army helped to push back the Japanese forces into eastern Burma. In the Second World War, it is estimated that 385,000 British soldiers were killed or wounded. Subscribe for more World War II videos. Get your copy of Simple History, World War II, today. Thank you for all your support on the Simple History YouTube channel. If you enjoy the channel, please consider supporting us at Patreon.